Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about all of the ebooks I ended up downloading last month in April. I believe I have 13 books to talk about today, so we'll get started. Of course, as always, we're going to be starting out with all of the books I downloaded off of KU. Now, these aren't all the books that I downloaded off of KU in April because I was like flipping books in and out because of the novella a thon. Like, I was checking books in and out like crazy. Um, so these are the books that I currently like still have on KU from April that have lasted like a long time. So I'll talk about those. The first one that I would love to mention is actually on my May TBR. This is How to Save a Life by Emma Scott. This is the romance between Josephine and Evan and they knew each other in high school. Both of them I think are going through like mental health stuff. Like Josephine is running from a harrowing past that haunts her and then Evan in high school was called a mental case, a loner, a freak, a boy who seemed to know things no one else could know. They become friends in high school, but then cruel circumstances like, I guess, tear them apart. And four years later, the sweet memory of their time together is dissolving under the punishing reality of Joe's life now. They reconnect and they end up going to Louisiana together, a small town in Louisiana. And yeah, it says that this is... Uh, a standalone romance novel with shades of the paranormal, which sounds super interesting to me. So I can't wait to read this. There is some trigger warnings of domestic violence and mentions of SA. Then I also ended up downloading Sunday's Child by Grace Draven. This is a novella. Um, we'll see if I read it for the novellathon. I still have two more days for the novellathon currently, right now. Um, I don't know if I'll get to this one. We'll see. But um, I'll read anything Grace Draven. I have no idea what this is about, but I am assuming it has something to do with Christmas. So this one's about Claire Summerlad, Summerlad, <laughs> during the holiday season, and she envisions a lonely Christmas for herself and her autistic son until she meets a mysterious new co-worker who seems strangely familiar. Ooh. The memory of Christmas past is brought back to life when Andor Hajlamarsen, wow, I cannot pronounce that, is introduced to the woman he once called Sunday's Child. A thousand years of exile has made Andor a nomad, but is a future with Claire possible with a centuries old punishment hanging over his head. Father Christmas meets Norse mythology in this holiday novella from the author of Radiance. Okay, so maybe it's like a reincarnation romance or something? I don't know how they know each other in the past. Interesting. By the way, the past two books that I've talked about are on KU. I forgot to mention that. This one is also on KU. I'll tell you when I'm getting into my free books. Um, but Disgrace by Brittany Cherry has been getting a lot of buzz. And this is one of the Brittany Cherry books I have not read yet. So our heroine in here, um, was married for says 15 years and he walked away from her and into the arms of another. Then a Jackson Emery appeared. He was supposed to be a summer fling. Jackson didn't believe in commitment and she no longer believed in love. Ow. He was too closed off and she was too damaged for him. Everything was fine until one night her heart skipped a beat. She didn't expect him to make her laugh, to make her think, to make her sadness somewhat disappear. When their time was up, her heart didn't know how to walk away. Each day she prayed for her husband to love her back again, yet slowly her prayers began to shift towards the man who wasn't right for her. She prayed for one more smile, one more kiss, one more laugh, one more touch. She prayed for him to be hers, even though she knew his heart wasn't destined to love. I saw a TikTok that Brittany made about this book and I think it went a little viral and I was like, yes, apparently he like, she's had a few miscarriages in her life and he gets her a rose for every baby she's lost and like gives her the bouquet of roses and oh my gosh I was like I need that book now. Then for the novellathon we'll see if I I read it um <laughs> I picked up Missile Foe by Kimberly Lemming which is book number four uh 1.5 in the Mead Mishap series I'm pretty sure um but I've read book one in the series and I just needed to read this one apparently has like a talking sword in here that's just like ridiculously funny. I have no idea what this is about honestly and the summary is kind of vague but it's a novella by Kimberly Lemming. I really enjoyed that time I got drunk and saved a demon and so this is the one after that and I just need to know about Alexis this talking sword okay. <laughs> now we're getting into the books that I ended up downloading for free in April um and I'll let y'all know if they are still currently free or if they are 
on Kindle Unlimited if you want to check them out. So first one is Confess by A. Zavarelli. This is the first book in the Sin City Salvation series. This is currently available off of Kindle Unlimited. Ooh, okay. It says one contract, two signatures, a marriage of inconvenience. Oh my gosh. Okay. Lucian West is one of the most hated men in America. He's a ruthless attorney who gets what he wants in the courtroom and outside of it. Now he wants me. For reasons I can't fathom, he's determined to make me his wife. He makes it clear he's not above blackmailing me to put a ring on my finger, but what he should know is I can't be domesticated. I don't know how to love men. I only know how to leave them with everything I want. Okay, so I guess this next part's in Lucian's point of view. It says, I don't do love. I don't even do relationships, but that all changes when I stumble upon the tragic, beautiful woman confessing her sins in the dark of night. She's a thief, a con, the essence of everything I loathe. And yet she lures me in with her lying eyes. I want to protect her. I want to bring her to heal. I want to teach her a lesson she'll never forget. She belongs to me. She just doesn't know it yet. I've already made her mine in name. Now it's time to claim the rest of her. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, next for free. All the rest of these are free. I downloaded At Any Price by Brianna Aubrey. This is available to download off of KU. Oh, this is like a auction V-card book situation. I think she gets bought, her auction thing gets bought by Adam Drake, who is a brilliant, brilliant gaming company CEO and multimillionaire. He's young, driven, and very good looking. And yeah, I guess this is the romance between the two of them. We'll see how this one goes. Then I have the Mrs. Degree, A Secret Baby Second Chance Romance by Sarah and I. This is available off of KU. Summary for this one says, I thought leaving Jack Jennings was doing him a giant favor. He had a bright future ahead of him as a football star. The last thing he needed was me and a baby standing in the way of his dreams. Honestly, I figured he would eventually forget about me. I would raise our child in secret and watch Jack on television and the pain of what I'd done to him would heal. The last person I expected to see on my brother's doorstep seven years later was Jack, obviously, or I wouldn't have answered it. A superstitious athlete, dreams were keeping him awake at night that were preventing him from excelling on the field. Dreams he was hoping I could make disappear. He looked so good, so much older, kind, handsome. Turns out he hadn't forgotten about me either and he hadn't put our past behind him. So I'm interested to know, does he know that he's a dad? I don't know. I don't really like the fact that they're keeping the baby a secret, but I don't know, we'll see. Next, I have His Highland Last by Celeste Barclay. This is available off of KU. So this is a like rivaling family romance. So the rivaling families are the Sinclairs and the McKays. Uh, Laird Tristan McKay is bound by duty to his clan to make peace with the enemy. Tristan arranges a marriage for his stepbrother, Sir Alan, but never imagines that he would meet the woman he longs to marry. When things sour quickly between Tristan's stepbrother and Lady Marguerite Sinclair, Tristan is determined to make her his, a choice that promises to change his life forever. So Marguerite's father arranges a marriage to a man she has never met for the sake of safety of her clan. Marguerite tries to escape her fate. She is betrothed to one man, but it is the dark, handsome, and provocative Laird who catches her eye. Arranged to marry Sir Alan, Marguerite finds herself drawn to Laird of Tristan McKay. After meeting her intended, Marguerite knows she cannot go through with the marriage, but she must find a way to end the feud that is tearing the two clans apart. Interesting. So it's rivaling families, but she's arranged to marry someone else in the family? That's gonna be a lot of drama. Next, I ended up downloading Claimed by Evangeline Anderson. This is still available to download for free. So Olivia has just graduated from nursing school and has her whole life ahead of her until she gets drafted. But she isn't being forced into the army. She's been chosen as a kindred bride and she has no say in the matter. Baird is a huge muscular beast kindred with golden eyes who recently escaped imprisonment and torture at the hands of the malevolent Scourge. Through the torment and pain, only one thing kept him sane the thought of finding and claiming his bride, Olivia. His need to possess her is a burning intensity that threatens to consume them both. Angry at having her future and family taken away from her, Olivia vows to fight back the only way she can, by resisting. Ooh, she has one month on the kindred mothership with Baird, their claiming period. If she can keep from having bonding times with him during that time, she can go home and get on with her life at Earth. But Baird isn't going to make it easy for her. Every week he is allowed to touch Olivia more and more intimately and according to the contract she signed, she has to let him. The holding week, 
the bathing week, the tasting week. Olivia is contractually obligated to go through with all of them with Baird. She's determined to resist the huge alien warrior, but his touch sets her on fire. Can Olivia avoid being claimed? Sign me up. <laughs> that sounds really good. Next, I have Smitten with Ravioli, a sweet romantic comedy set in Italy by Ellen Jacobson. This is still available to download for free. Ginny's Italian cooking course was supposed to be a peaceful escape from her troubles. But when she meets Preston, an infuriating know-it-all history professor, she quickly realizes her past has come back to haunt her. The last thing Jenny needs is for Preston to find out who she really is. Her plan seems foolproof. <laughs> Assume a fake identity and keep her distance from the pretentious jerk. But when they're forced to work together, Ginny starts to see a different side of Preston. She's torn between her desire to reveal who she really is and her fear that she'll lose everything in the process. Interesting. I don't know what that means, but like I haven't read a book set in Italy before. Next, I have The Lone Wolf's Rejected Mate by Casey Wells. I immediately downloaded this when I saw it was for free because I have, I think, the other two books. <laughs> I'll also download it for free. It's on KU though. So if you want to check it out, it's on there. This is the romance between Amari and Darak. Darak? Darak? Oh my gosh. I'm butchering that. So I believe uh, Mari and Darak realize they're fated mates, but after their one amazing night together, after realizing they're mates, he leaves her. He's a tortured hero with a dark past protecting the pack from afar. And so then she rejects him or something? Whoa. This is the third book in this series, so I don't want to know anything else because I haven't read the other two. But rejected mates are one of my like come hither words. Like I love them so much. Next I have The Almost Lovebirds by Lucy Day. This is a second chance romantic comedy that is available off of KU. This is about Fiona who just got over a disastrous break up has an art career that's in a tailspin so she'll try anything to get inspired again so she goes back to her hometown to help her aunt recover from surgery there's just one problem this small town is also home to alex fox he is gorgeous and charming and makes a room 10 degrees hotter just by walking into it but eight years ago he busted fiona's heart into a million pieces and when she bumps into him now he has the nerve to act like it never happened so alex apparently never meant to break fiona's heart but if he tells her the real reason he dumped her all those years ago she might drive him out of the town and leave him with the gators <laughs> determined to win her back alex offers her a job too intriguing to pass up one that he hopes will show her she belongs here with him. The more time they spend together, the more sparks fly. Fiona finds herself falling hard for the one man she never wanted to see again. Soon this town feels like more than just a refuge, but can she put the old hurt behind her and give her first love a second chance? I love second chance romances, so yes. And the last one that I have is Protective Vows, which is a dark mafia romance by B.B. Hamill. This is available to download off of KU. So this is a mafia romance, obviously. Our heroine's father and older brothers were murdered in a yacht explosion off the coast of Crete, and now her family is in tatters. Then she meets Luca Valaverde. I don't know, he's 6'4", covered in scars and muscles, a hardened killer, and her sworn enemy. But instead of finishing the job, he takes her home and gives her a choice, a bullet or his wedding ring. <laughs> okay, so she accepts the marriage and decides to bide her time until she can put a knife in his back. Every second she spends in his marriage bed is another second she spends forgetting about her freedom. His touch is a poisoned flower and his lips are like honey, but she's playing the long game and in the end, she's going to win. Sounds like a bad A, mafia, heroine, give it to me. There you have it. Those are all of the books that I ended up downloading in April. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, let's see. You can leave me any baking related or sweet treat emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.